The nuclear attack on Japan consisted of two bombings by the United States with atomic bombs, one on the city of Hiroshima on August 6, 1945, and another on Nagasaki on August 9. In the final stage of World War II, the U.S. and Allied forces were advancing against Japan, but the Japanese military continued to fight fiercely, causing very high casualties on both sides. The fastest way to end the war, it was believed, would be through Japan's unconditional surrender. Please subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon. Thanks. The US made a decision to use atomic bombs, which were newly developed weapons, to speed up the ending of the war. President Harry Truman authorized the use of these weapons, and on August 6, 1945, the world witnessed the first nuclear attack. The US dropped an atomic bomb called, Little Boy, on the city of Hiroshima, which immediately killed about 70,000 people and ultimately claimed the lives of up to 140,000. The devastation that followed was unimaginable, with almost everything within a 3.5 kilometers radius of the explosion completely destroyed. People were severely burnt or injured, and radiation lingered, causing long-term health effects. Three days later, on August 9, 1945, the U.S. dropped a second atomic bomb on Nagasaki, this time killing about 40,000 people and ultimately claiming up to 80,000 lives. The bombings forced the Japanese Emperor, Hirohito, to announce Japan's surrender on August 15, 1945, ending World War II. The attacks on Hiroshima and Nagasaki remain the only time that nuclear weapons have been used in combat, and the effects of the bombings are still being studied and debated today.